MMA one on one. I'm your host, Dan the Wolfman, with the one and only Superman himself, Dean Kane. How's it going, sir? It's good, but we're not gonna fight tonight. It's not gonna happen. No? No. Yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta get you amped up a little bit. I'm amped up to watch. I don't wanna fight you. If you First were, of all, you're too big. If you were a little younger, would you have gotten in there, maybe? I would you know what? Truth is I played professional football and I loved it. Okay. I wrestled in high school and I was a good wrestler. I had a couple of scraps on the street, you know, in my lifetime, and I can punch. It would have been a sport that had it been what it is now, when I was a kid, I probably would have been uh, an MMA fighter. So what brought you out to the, the Bellator Big Supercard event today? And I see that you got your son with you and your dad with you. Yeah, my dad had never seen an MMA fight live. He always wanted to. His 70th birthday was a couple days ago. So for sure we were coming out. I teach my son a lot of wrestling moves and, and how to defend himself. Okay. Um, some things that are very MMA like yeah. and so he's always been interested in it and he may end up you know he may end up being a fighter someday who knows but I wanted to know how to defend himself and there's no better way to know how to defend yourself than than rolling and, and then doing some MMA that's that's important that's good um, I see you got the Detroit hat on you're I was a Michigander like yeah, I, was, I was born in Detroit uh, Detroit Michigan and uh, left when I was a whopping three years old okay and I had to move to a horrible spot Malibu California so oh, it was tough growing rough. up on the streets in Malibu <laughs> um, I got a little more street cred than here I was there until a few years ago so. yeah I think uh, yeah my street cred card is gone <laughs> no doubt do you have any favorite fighters like we got Michael Chandler and Eddie Alvarez fighting tonight you're familiar with these guys or first fight very familiar with those guys that's going to be a big fight I you know look, the, who, uh, the first fight was a was a whopper and this one also will be a whopper I suppose I was actually really excited for Tito and Rampage yeah. it's a bummer because Tito's a friend of mine I know Rampage as well and you know when those heavyweights go at it I mean it is those bombs when you're sitting close and I'm sitting close it's good yeah. um, <laughs> boy you can hear everything it's just amazing and I was really excited for that I'm, I'm sorry for Tito's injury and I hope he heals up quick well, Rampage is fighting Joey Beltran now in two weeks November 15th so he's still gonna throw down we'll see what he's got he Eight. says he's had a good camp and his knees are good so Look, if you get, you know, it's a bummer to train for a fight and then have that thing go away. All that training goes for naught. So I'm glad he's using it, and I hope he does well. I wish him the best. Um, I was gonna, I, I was gonna pull for Tito tonight. Uh, had that been the case, thank you, Tito. <laughs> don't, don't, please don't ever hurt me. Um, and uh, you know, but uh, I, I look forward. I mean, all these. We came. We, we we didn't even miss an undercard fight. I mean, we got here early. We're, we want to see it all. That means you're a real fan. I appreciate yeah. that. That's that's great. And you know, I used to train with Tito and Rampage together when they were together back. In in 2002, 2003, so. Um, that was a long time ago. Yeah, you know, so you got the wrestling background, you played Superman, and besides that, you were pretty tough. I'd like to talk about stars uh, earn stripes. Absolutely. Uh, if you don't mind, I, 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 what was that like as an experience? Stars earn stripes was one of the greatest experiences I ever had. What we did is, a bunch of celebrities, you know, we, we were paired up with military operatives, and we went on these training missions, live rounds, live everything, and I was fortunate enough to be paired up with Chris Kyle, um, American Sniper, they're making a film about him him and his book. Um, I had already read his book before I got in there and I said with such great respect. We saw some military guys inside tonight and I will take my time every single time I see somebody I will stop, thank them for their service and just how much I appreciate them and, and let them know that you know that, that America appreciates them and, and what they do. I travel the world. I go everywhere where people don't have the rights that we do and I understand how important they are and I, I, I would I would really suggest that everybody get out and travel. You get a chance to get outside and you don't have your bill of rights that we enjoy here in the United States, go out there and see what these men and women are fighting for. Yeah, guys, even if you don't agree with all the political policies or necessarily where we go, appreciate and support your servicemen because, you know, maybe they don't want to go and they got families back home and they're making a lot of sacrifices and, you know, I, I think that's, you know, very important. They're uh, re-upping a few people here in the yeah. cage in a few minutes. I think that's amazing. I think it's great. What was the craziest thing you did on the show? Was it uh, repelling out of the, hel the helo? Well, listen, when you jump out of a helicopter 300 feet in the air over the water over the ocean and you have to be dropped into a moving zodiac mm -hmm. there are so many things that could go wrong forget all the live weapons and things that you have on the firing range and everywhere when you're firing live in the I mean any mistake here and you're shooting every I mean it's it was very very dangerous really well trained but uh, you know anytime you jump out of a helicopter man I told uh, General Wesley Clark who was our commanding officer there I said it was a real leap of faith and he said well Dean it's a real leap of faith every time. I was like, yes, sir. You don't know the guy who's holding your rope or doing anything, so you got to trust them as much yeah. as, you know, like, you meet somebody, like, I'm going to jump out of this <laughs> helicopter. You sure. make sure you control gotcha. this. I've never met you. Let's do it. And that's the stuff that happens all the time. With what people. was your favorite weapon system? I was really just 
the, the Scar 17, I, I couldn't miss anything. It's a heavy, heavy weapon, but man, I could shoot that thing. Um, and then, well, Chris Kyle trained me on the sniper rifle, or it was a. What, what exactly was that? M110, I think. The, no. Was it 20 round box magazine, like the big M16? No, we were, we were one or at a time. Or you were single shot. Sniper okay. was so it was a Remington 700P, no. basically? No, or? I would know it if I said it. I forget what it was. I'm just not a professional. Okay. Um, I know it, but now on the spot, I'm not coming up with it. No. But it was a. I never got to shoot the sniper rifle in competition. But man, I was good on that because I was getting trained by the guy who wrote the Navy, you know, the Navy SEAL sniper manual. And guys, it's, uh, you know, horrible what happened to him. I mean, to make it through all the shit, honestly, <laughs> that he made it through, and then to get it back here trying to help out a returning servicemen and take him shooting, it's... You know, Chris, his entire mission became taking care of the men and women that came back. And the, it's the most admirable, admirable mission in the world. You know, he... he his wife Taya, she's a great girl, and his kids are wonderful. And um, he had to make that decision at that point in time to be to continue in the armed services or to be a father. And then he, the way he felt he could serve at the same time, because he missed the guys badly. He missed being out there. He's a guy who belongs in the middle of the shit at all times. You want him there, and uh, it was hard for him, harder for him, I think, in in, in regular life than it is than it was for him in the for middle. For guys that have seen combat or even been close to it or had IEDs go off, it's very hard. And you know, we got the the Wounded Warriors program, we got um, uh, Hired for Heroes, a Brian Stan MMA fighter runs, um, you know, there's an, another MMA event in a few days on a military base, so, you know, guys support MMA, and MMA in the military kind of goes back and forth because it's still that hard training, supporting your teammates, even though MMA is an individual sport, you don't get prepared for a fight by yourself, and, um, well, let's see that in the corners of these guys right now. It's one thing I think my son's having a great time watching and listening to is, you know, he can see the guys in the corner talking to the fighter. The fighter comes back. There's six guys on him. They're going like, look, man, dude, they're, they're fixing him up. They're, they're throwing some ice on him. They're trying to fix anything that's cut, and they're telling him what to do. And he's like, wow, I think he sees that it is, it is a tremendous uh, team So sport. maybe, maybe he'll, you can get him in an MMA gym, jiu-jitsu gym after this, mix it with the I'd wrestling. I would love it. I want him to. And after your experiences, you feel like if someone breaks into your home, you're a little better prepared to deal with things now, right? Oh, don't break into my house. I won't. <laughs> I'll come no. for a barbecue. Yeah, yeah. My house is not the house to break into. No. All right, guys. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. Subscribe to my uh, YouTube page. It's at Dan the Wolfman One. Do you have any uh, anywhere you want to send people? Uh, if, uh, the only thing I have is Twitter at Real Dean Kane. That's the only thing that I that I do in social media. But uh, but but I do I do post some opinions on there from now you know from time again time again. But it's uh, it's the only thing I do at Real Dean Kane. Okay, guys, and go to PolymerMainNow.com for all your information, and I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks.